A woman defending Islam is like a chicken defending KFC. Why, why do you believe that Islam is the truth for you specifically? Well, like if you were to give me the best reason why Islam is the truth, why? What, what is it? Because I, I believe in goodness. So I, I like see what promotes goodness. Okay. So like I'm a female, right? So like yeah. it's important for me that like men don't sexualize me or objectify me. So uh, like Islam, it's so it like I'm so protected, right? Like I'm I'm covered, and I don't have to conform to society and get certain things done to my body that I'm never gonna be happy with because nobody's gonna see it. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so but um, yeah. So the, <laughs> okay, but do you do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, like, yes, I understand. For like a religion that's promoting goodness, right? Like to me, that's good. So these yes. like Muslim countries, right? Like where there's mostly covered women, like this is good. Like this, okay, like this path is like good. Mm. And then like the Christian countries, there's like so much like promiscuity is just rampant. Like mm. like anybody like that i uh like you know me eventually or whatever like right it's so so rampant so yeah like i would want to deter from uh and that's just one example okay well, well let's go with that i like i like your answer actually that um you you lean towards islam and you believe it's true because it promotes goodness and you see the fruition of its goodness As a matter of fact like i it, think that the religion right that uh, you like right when you're assessing, right? Yeah, like, when you're you assessing. Want to follow goodness. So, so let me address this, okay? Let me address this, okay? Because I, I I I like what you said. However, so if a religion is not professing goodness, right? Uh, then it would show that it is actually not from God, because God is good. He would not prof- promote evil or wrongdoing. Let's stick with this. So. The treatment of the goodness and treatment of women, morality, is a thing that you are like, that's number one for you. That's how you see that Islam is the truth. Got you. Um, do you have a Quran on you, by the way? If not, I could just show it on the screen. It sounds like you got also got your kids with you. So I, I could do the work for you and just put it on the screen. Okay, sure. Okay. So I'm going to pull up chapter four and I'm going to pull up verse 34. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Chapter four, verse thirty-four. Cool. Okay. Here yeah. it is. Let me just go ahead. It actually kind of starts off like it's pretty good. We'll see. You see it? You see the screen? I'm about to read it. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so it says, men are the managers of the affairs of women, for that God has preferred in bounty one of them over the other, and for that they have expended of their property. Righteous women are therefore obedient, guarding the secret of God's garden. And those you may those you fear may be rebellious. So it's talking about how to treat your wives, right? Those who you fear may be rebellious, admonish them, banish them to their couches and beat them. If they then obey you, look not for any way against them. God is all high, all great. Do you think that this is good to teach that not if not even if you did anything wrong, but if you okay. fear she may do something wrong, you can beat your wife. Okay. Man can beat their wife. So let's break this down because you're not even the word property. It's that's women. So like, where is like, what are you using? First of all, this is the Quran, it's chapter four, verse thirty-four. I know, but property, like all of my Quran, say women. Oh, no. Uh, what are you talking about? First of all, like, you're, like, making, like, no, and that's just not the only word. There's so many words in this that's, like, it's... it's this word right here, this word is property. Look. But it's the most negative word that you can think well, of. Look. Like, it's the okay, okay, the I hear you. Thing. Let's let's go to the in Arabic. The it breaks down the Arabic. So let's look at it word for word. Let's go to that word property. Let's see what it was, okay? So 
uh, your women because bestowed Allah, some of them over others, and because they spend from, okay, the word is wealth. Let me read it. Let me read mine. Okay, mine is not like nasty like yours. What do you mean? The word is wealth or property in, in the Arabic. Okay, it, let me show you mine. It's, it's not women. And then we can let, we can let everybody agree. Okay, that you, the way that yours is phrasing it, like there's something wrong. Really? So it says, something wrong with the Quran? Husbands, yeah, husbands are the protectors and maintainers of their wives because Allah has given the one more strength than the other, right? Mm. Like men are stronger than women. Yeah. And because they support them from their means to provide for them. Yeah, so the means, the, wait, wait. So the means are their property, right? And their expenses, their wealth. They spend of their wealth or their property on the women, like they take care of them, right? Hmm. Well, yeah, like whatever, I guess. Yeah, so, so it, it wasn't necessarily, uh, so I think you misunderstood my, the, like what I had on the screen. is It wasn't saying that the women oh. are property. It was saying okay, that they I'm spend sorry. their property on them. There were some other, like, okay, I, just, I guess I just wanted to read it from mine because I would just. Sure, go ahead. Sorry, like, yeah, so from their means therefore the righteous women are devoutly obedient and guard in the husband's absence what allah would have them guard as to those women on whose part ye fear disloyalty and ill conduct admonish them first refuse to share their beds spank them but if they return to obedience okay seek not against them means for allah is most high and great so this is referring to the women like the women on of so it's just telling women like slap them straight a little bit, but not like literally. Like, Wait, so you like, you think that it's okay for a husband to slap his wife? He's not referring to husband and wife. He's it is. This is literally talking about husband and wife. Literally. Well, it says men wife, are the if the wife yeah okay whatever if she's married or if she's not married right like if she just strays and she's getting on own of or whatever like he needs to like slap her silly. So right? like it's okay. Like, it's okay for a man to hit a woman. You think that's good? But not like abuse. Not don't don't abuse her. Like you so, need you need to so like I'll, again. Her. I'll ask you again. Oh, did I leave you? Yeah, it was, something happened. I don't know what happened. Oh, um, it literally says spank. So it's telling you like the. She's it says beat them. Actually, it says the word is strike them, not spank. Okay. But it's okay. Yeah, we'll go see, with that. That's why I didn't like your definition. You. It why? seems like you're using like the worst word. Well, no, that's that's the word in Arabic. The word in Arabic, Duraba, means to strike them. Look, I know. I'm about there's, to pull it up. Like, yeah, there's many. But in this context, right? Like, <laughs> this context. Like, uh, we're talking about women's rights, right? Like, this is a feminine, like, we're appealing to, like, women. Yeah, mm. so do you think that it's good? Do you think that it's good for women's rights that men are able to hit them? This is telling, this is telling me, like, if I, like, did something bizarre, no, right? It doesn't. Like, no, it doesn't. It says, if you fear that she may be rebellious. So you don't even have to do something. If they fear that you might do something or might be disobedient, they can strike you. Just to let you know, when you pause, I can't hear you. So. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean I was paused. There's a pop-up. Okay, no, it's not. What are you talking about fear? The men is not fearing. It's yes, it is. Look, it says, and you can even read it in your own translation as well. Right before it talks about admonishing them, it mm -hmm. says, if you fear, look, yeah. and those you fear may be yeah. rebellious. So, yes. so you, if you think that they might be rebellious, okay. not, not that, that you actually was it rebellious. Yes. Okay. Keep, okay. Keep going. Right. Admonish them, banish okay. them to their couches. Right. No, so okay, don't sleep with the, them. What does admonish them mean? Like correct them. So it's like verbally. telling you, yeah, like verbally telling you. Okay, yeah. and then so then, if they don't listen, then if they don't. What, no, it doesn't yeah. say if they don't listen. These are all things that you do, and it's not. No, if no, 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 no. It's like a why? Why would you just like if she's gonna engage in something that's wrong, right? Like you're not gonna just spank her. You're gonna tell her first. It doesn't say that she's engaging in anything wrong. It says, look, admonish, admonish them first. It doesn't say first. That's not in the Arabic. Okay, admonish them first, and why then do you keep doing that? It doesn't say first in the Arabic. It's, it's not telling you to. Why yes, would it, it is. Tell you? One is greater than the other, right? So first, you're talking to her, right? Habibi, da da da, whatever. Then next, you're gonna not. If she doesn't listen, now you're not gonna sleep with your wife. 
you're just like telling you like, okay, refrain from like the intercourse with her. She's going to yearn for and you. And then do what? Right? And and then you have to lightly. It doesn't say her. lightly. You're it doesn't not. say lightly. Don't do that. Yours, that's what I'm saying. Yours says, yours is taking the, like, it's the same meaning, but your words are like the most like, like it's what the Quran words. says. It's, it's it's what the Quran it says. Does. It's not mine. It's, it's like no, you're reading it like uh, that's what I'm saying. Like you maybe go find another go find another Quran. Go go find one more. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, seriously, you're like you're not reading the Quran. Uh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You know what? This, this Quran this Quran's corrupted. Let me let me choose another one. Let me choose no, another. No, that's another what one. I'm saying. Like don't use words like that. Okay, that's why see. I said it's the same here's a, meaning. Here's, here's but you're one. using the most negative synonyms. What do you That's mean negative synonyms? That's what it says. So even even the word property is so negative that I immediately was like I could and even another, before another that one thing, says, another one says scourge them. Oof, that's tough. Scourge no. them. Do you know what sc to scourge means? Like that means you beat the mess out of something. It has it, you beat it up. That's what that's what this. I got I got a different. You asked me to get a different one. I got a different one. Want another one? Let's get a different one. That one's corrupted too. Uh, what did Yusuf Ali say? <clears throat> All right. This one says, beat them. But in parentheses, which is not in the actual text, the commentator adds lightly. This is not in the Quran. They add this. This is what it says. Beat yes, them. because this is yes, yes, yes. It's clarification for you. People who speak Arabic, they understand. Okay, Th mm. this is clarification for you to help you. All right, so Why are you uh, all right, it I got you. I got you. Think, I don't want to use uh, the ones that are trying to help me. I got I you. I want to stick to this one that makes it look like you do. I, I used. I went. I used three of them. You said the first one was was corrupted. Uh, you didn't like the second mm -hmm. one that said to scourge you, and so this it's one okay. says beat them. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so look, this is my question, all right? I do see do though, th like do you think it's okay to give a permission for a man to beat his wife, even lightly? You think that that's okay for women's rights? So the word beat and lightly, like I don't think they go in the same sentence together. Because if they you don't. say beat before you even say lightly, I've already had a vision of like what good. I'm glad. Okay. So I don't <laughs> say beat, you can't say like be lightly. Well, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so it's not so that's what I'm what are you you keep pausing sister when you when you pause when you like when you it's leave the app <laughs> yeah when, whenever whenever you leave the app it's gonna pause you and I can't I'm not you. leaving the app it's uh my connection sorry oh okay okay <laughs> so look this is my question this is it's a simple question for you and I is it ever okay for a man to beat his wife no and no man in Islam should beat his wife, and we don't promote that. Well, the Quran right? does. No, 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 no. First of all, okay, I can't. I gotta go. Oh my god. Okay. Do you, if, do if you need to go, it's okay. Like, follow me. We could continue this next time. No, let, I just want to explain it really quickly. I don't want to end on that. That's so bad. So don't <laughs> exaggerate it, okay? Don't exaggerate, it, right? Like, I am not Islam exaggerating. Firm, I'm just okay? we just read. I know. This. I know. I know. But Islam is very firm. So he's like Allah is telling I, I, I you. I see. Yeah. No, he's like tell like he's describing like it's firm. You know, like he's describing like what you should do in a situation like this. Yes. She's like OF, right? You go and you talk to her. You say OF? Huh? What is OF? Are you saying OnlyFans? Yeah. No, this <laughs> I'm saying the, the level of disloyalty and ill conduct. If it's it don't like say nothing like OF. look, it says. If you fear disobedience, yeah. if you even think that she might disobey you, so you have to right. obey him, right? You can't resist. If you might rebel against him, against his orders, this is what he can do. He can no, no, no. correct like, you. Like a... He can send you. He can not sleep with you or he can beat you. Or, I'm sorry, not or and Ooh. and he can beat you. you. If it, if it applied to something simple, right, like a simple discussion, like almost daily, I think husbands and wives like have simple discussions and like you're he's going to be like, don't disobey me or whatever. But like y'all laugh it off, right? Like that, like that can happen on a daily. Yeah, basis. so he can laugh it off by, by pimp slapping her, huh? No, and that, I mean, laugh it off like as in you don't like. They don't, we don't take it seriously. Sis. Like if my husband says, let's go get pizza. And I say, no, let's go get like chicken. Sis. Like, Sis. and you're thinking that's like, I'm disobeying him. So Sis. no, it's not talking about simple level. Like 
that. It's talking about like if you're doing something like really nasty, like you're on OF, right? Sister. It's referring to stuff like that, not simple, simple things. Sister, you're making excuses for something that is inexcusable and you know it. That's why it's a struggle. That's why it's a struggle. Look, this is what the Bible says. I'm going to leave you with this. This is Ephesians chapter five. This is what the Bible says. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he may sanctify it and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. So you see, so look, so ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loves himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, even as the Lord, the church. So just as God loves the church, meaning the believers, the body of Christ, the churches are, are people who believe. Just as Christ, the Lord, loves the church and he gave himself for us, the Bible says the hus husbands are to do the same to their wives. That's how we're supposed to act, how God acts towards us, not beating them, not striking you even lightly. Do you see the difference? Because Christianity is just like very like supple. It's very like, oh, love, 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 love. And Islam is very like firm. So you're going to get into real like. Uh, which one, which, which one would you say is better? One that says it's, to beat your wife or one that says to love your wife? Which one is better? No, no, no. That's not the way that it's saying it, right? Islam is breaking down like everything that you go through in marriage. Yours look, is just look, saying like, love your husband, love your wife. Every, it says you men, men. Look, 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 look at this. Thing. Look at this, sister. Look. Men, so ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. I mean, duh, like, duh, God is going to say that. Duh. But you don't so, you need good. something more than that when you're like freaking married? Like, don't you need some more like this is no, this is what you need right here to make sure that you're what no. else? What, what else does it like what what, what a what a what a husband would a since you're supposed to love your your wife just as you love your own body, would a man beat his own self if he loves himself? Would he beat himself? First of all, who's beating who? No, in Islam, there's no beating. There's Come on, no sister, beating. just answer the question. Would a man beat himself if he loves himself? Don't try to trap me, God logic. There is no <laughs> beating in Islam. <laughs> well, I like you a lot, man. You're fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Well, anyways, I'm going to let you go. Okay. All right, bye. Thank you. Take care. Have a good day.